Uh, well, I've been here oh, over 10 years now. Um, and I was a student in the film and TV department. I was one of the lucky ones, managed to get a part-time job as a projectionist. I had a whale of a time. I really loved working here. I mean, it's a fantastic job. I couldn't believe you know, how lucky I was to, to be in this place. And uh, yeah, and it's just sort of really been here <laughs> ever since. Well, since I started working as a part-time projectionist to the point where I'm now sort of a manager of the, the cinema, there's been a lot of changes. The main change, of course, is a move from 35mm to digital projection, which has been incredible in, in the way everything operates from, from our side of things, you know, operating the projector to the, to the people making the films. In regards to what we do as a cinema, I think we're quite lucky that we have a really diverse programme. We do a, basically, you know, as, as much stuff that we can do that is different. Because uh, we're aware that there's a, a lot of people in uh, Avaris and the surrounding area that have different tastes. You know, there's always something for someone here. Our main event though of the year is the Abattoir Horror Festival. <laughs> It's the six day uh, horror festival, the only one of its kind in Wales. Um, we've been going for 12 years now. It was started uh, back in 2006 actually, because there were no sort of horror events in Wales at the time, so we managed to, well, we started to try and create our own. Uh, classic films, new films, um, the, all, all the new films are screening for the first time uh, in Wales, so Welsh premieres. Um, everything that we show of the new films has never been released in the UK. We have talks, we have Q&As with the filmmakers, uh, we have special events, we have off-site screenings, music, theatre, the kind of everything that we can get away with in six days, we, we do. For me, I think it's a sense of fun. Uh, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We, you know, we, the, even the logo design itself is more of a sort of like a comic effect. Um, I think it's just, it's essentially sharing the passion, you know, about horror movies, all the different kinds of horror movies. And you get all these, these people coming together and everyone shares that same enthusiasm. Though everything here is, you know, random, you've got old, new, you've got events and things, it all ties in nicely, so you get like a whole load of experiences of festivals. It's not just horror movies, you get sort of, like, always do really random, exciting adventures out. I like that it's all kinds of horror and not just films. But plenty of those two. <laughs> a good little cinema with a good atmosphere. Really. There was um, one filmmaker called Alex Chandon and he, he said to me, I remember this at the time, he said he realised that when his film was touring around all the different festivals, festivals are kind of like filmmaking. It's months and months and months and months of preparation and meticulous planning for it all to come together seamlessly and perfectly over the course of a few days and, and he really hit the nail on the head with that. I think it's important um, when you talk about any cinema is that you've got to keep up to date. Uh, it's, a, it's a very fast moving uh, world, you know, as explained, but once you switch from 35mm to, to digital, then the technology is changing constantly. Um, so from that sort of aspect, uh, we're going to be keeping up to date. A big learning curve, um, really, really big learning curve, and you know, we've, we, we've got there and we're here and we're still investing in new technology so it's been a really interesting time. <laughs>